When I ate a plant-based diet, I was infertile, obese, had chronic acne, and kept getting boils on my backside. When I was vegan, I got bronchitis, strep, and respiratory infections often. Also, prior to starting carnivore, I had 12 cavities from ages 22 to 25. Liar, liar, plants for hire. It looks like Kelly Hogan exposed the entire carnivore community suffering from hypochondriasis. These people are known as hypochondriacs. Since Kelly gave me permission to make more videos about her, I'll gladly do that. Let's break down the comments she wrote to me, which will prove the carnivore community is more mentally ill than we all thought. According to Kelly, she claims to have tried a plant-based diet and she couldn't have babies. She was fat, had all these boils on her body. Now that she eats meat, she had children, lost weight, and can sleep at night. And magically, all the boils disappeared. They were absorbed by her skin to never return. When did Kelly go on a plant-based diet? <sighs> She's making all this up. Here's how I know. It's possible to become obese on a plant-based diet, but it's difficult because plants have lower calories with a lot of volume. It's hard to overeat. She didn't become obese eating plants. She was already that size, tried a plant-based diet for a couple of meals, didn't see the weight dropping quickly, and blames it on the diet. Then she became delusional to the point to where she tries going carnivore, which is a very sad and bland diet. She couldn't bear to eat as much meat, so she starved herself, and that's how she lost weight, which losing the weight helped her create babies and possibly did something for the skin. Long story short, she starved herself. Then she starts spewing about how she crossfits three days per week, eats foods that she pretends to enjoy when, in reality, she knows eating rotting dead animals is clearly disgusting, and how she has all these perfect health numbers and doctors that support her. I don't think combining CrossFit with the carnivore diet is doing you any good. Has Kelly ever seen what strong vegan females look like? But to be fair, Kelly could be strong on the inside and I'd support that. Kind of. Where were we? Oh yeah. Kelly brags about having good health when there is no proof. Show us your blood test then. How come these carnivores never show anything like that? They purposely hide this information from their brainwashed followers. As a last desperate attempt for an argument, she tries to appeal to authority by saying that three doctors said she was in perfect health. I highly doubt this. If this were true, the doctors are not credible. Anyone can find any doctors that support their own biases. I can find over 100 doctors that support a plant-based diet and disagree with eating meat. My 100 beats her three, therefore I win. Sucka! Let's see what this doctor has to say about the carnivore diet. A doctor that isn't carnivore or vegan. These are the clownivores. This is a collection of doctors, Ken Berry, Sean Baker, Paul Saladino, and there are others that have all been talking about this thing called the carnivore diet. It is very, very unhealthy. If you Google these people, their first name plus the word medical license, you will see that they have all either been suspended, they no longer have a medical license, or they're not practicing at all. Um, many of them have committed fraud or were just horrible doctors or whatever, and this is why they do stuff like this, because they have nothing else to do, they're not allowed to practice, they're not allowed to do anything else, so they are trying to make a living being contrarian, telling people bad advice. The worst advice I saw the other day was telling somebody who had a heart attack, had four stents placed, that it's okay to eat saturated fat, which is literally the worst thing you could tell somebody. There's a direct line between saturated fat intake and cardiovascular mortality. You can watch that video uh, in my playlist. Um, I just And the reason I focus so much on this is because we need to inoculate the masses against this type of bad advice. This is Dr. Muhammad Allo. He isn't vegan, so he has no bias. Notice how he didn't say anything bad about plant-based doctors? I highly recommend watching this video about cardiovascular disease on Simon Hill's channel. Anyone can say anything on the internet, Kelly. Your words can be taken with a grain of salt. Now she's trying to make her infection seem like it wasn't a big deal at all. Short-lived and for three days? I definitely have still an ear infection I'm struggling to get rid of. Here's how I can tell she's lying again. You don't admit you're struggling to get rid of an ear infection if it was a short-lived problem. Does that make any sense? Her ability to manipulate is quite clever as she tried to act like she's for any diet as long as humans thrive. She doesn't think that. She's selfish because she only believes the carnivore diet works for all people. And she doesn't care about the amount of animals being abused and murdered because of her diet. 
At this time, Kelly is clearly frustrated because she leaves a second remark on the same video where she makes the same claim about her ear and tries to persuade me that she is healing, which is so far from the truth. Now she made a third comment, again, on the same video. She describes her teeth and claims that she used to get cavities before she became a carnivore, but she no longer does. Again, where's the proof she hasn't gotten a single cavity? Show us the receipts. Speaking of carnivores and their horrible teeth, Kelly, have you seen my other videos I made? Care to explain the teeth on these carnivores? See all these other videos, exposing people's experiences on the carnivore diet? Why don't you explain this? Also, let me show you a folder I have that contains even more folders, each filled with a future project about people becoming unhealthy, eating animal-based. By the way, I get all these testimonies from the Instagram account called Carnivore Cringe. Be sure to follow this account. We need to all support each other's content and expose the declining carnivore cult as much as we can. Kelly's a hypochondriac. All these carnivores are. She wrote three separate comments on one video explaining all her health problems. Kelly believes when she was born, God casted upon her every fucking disease known to mankind. She makes all these health claims but has no proof to back up anything. It's all hearsay. I find it so funny how she told me she wouldn't ever share my channel to give me views. But Miss Kelly has been spending all her time responding to my content. She's digging her grave by supporting industries that abuse animals, while at the same time throwing her own carnivore community under the bus by exposing their own mental illnesses. Let this lesson be a spanking on Kelly and the rest of the carnivore cult. They attack defenseless animals because they don't hit back. But what happens when I stand up for the animals and start hitting the carnivores? Or don't hit back. Carnism is cancer.